The Gara Water Company is applying hydrated lime on the flowing Tano River. Now, this is to neutralize the life-threatening effect of the sulfuric acid uh, which poured into the river following an accident involving a truck carrying the chemicals. Larry Pakusimos reports, though the exercise has been done, people living close to the river have been asked not to use water from the river. The accident caused the death of several fishes. Communities living along the river were mostly affected. They were warned not to drink water from the river as the sulfuric acid could be injurious to their health. The EPA quickly took action. The drums contain 98% of sulfuric acid, which is highly concentrated. It can easily harm. Once it can easily harm and is corrosive, and uh, it can even lead to intense irritating, itching of the skin. So it is not really good for human beings. Residents of Fasutia, one of the communities which rely on the water for domestic use, were visibly worried. We had information a truck had fallen into the river and discharged dangerous chemicals into the river. The information was not to drink from the river and we communicated same to the community members. The Ghana Water Company is working fast at resolving the problem. Officials are applying hydrated lime to neutralize the effect of sulfuric acid in the river. Officials say the exercise will be closely monitored to ensure its success. Uh, we are trying to see, that's why we are doing the testing, to make sure that at least we have reduced the quantity of the acid in the river. And uh, downstream too, we'll be testing the water from point to point to make sure that as the acidity is also reduced. The Tamasu Water Headworks, which supply water to Techiman and its environs, is adjacent to the accident scene, but officials say it has not been affected. Consumers have been warned not to consume water from the river. Those drinking from the treatment plant from Ghana Water Company, they are safe. But those community, repairing communities along downstream, they should, for now, they should hold on and let's get rid of all the gallons, containers in the water. Then we can be sure of the quality of the raw water. Meanwhile, NADMU is coordinating the removal of foreign materials in the river. So far, the vehicle has been pulled out of the river while the removal of other remaining gallons was still ongoing. The Tano River takes its source from Tobodum near Techiman and enters the sea at Hafasini. Apart from water, it provides economic activities like fishing to communities living along the banks of the catchment area.